Last video, I made a brand new leagues account with the purpose of getting a huge XP drop, but instead I actually got negative XP, which I still don't really understand. But while I was making the account, I made sure to choose the exact relics for a very specific build I wanna try. The melee relic gives you damage and a better attack speed, but it also gives you a lot more defense. And the Din's Bulwark scales with defense. The more defense you have with the Din's Bulwark, the more strength bonus you get. So the more defense you have, the higher hits you get. And with the melee relic giving you 50% more defense, the Din's Bulwark is the best weapon for the melee relic, which might seem a little bit weird, but it looks incredibly fun. So I want to keep playing this account, get a Din's Bulwark and some of the best defense armor in the game and see just how powerful this build is. It's time to start building this account into the door build. But first I have a quick pit stop I want to go do. We have almost a hundred thousand condensed gold. Another huge win for the fire sale gang. These are worth 10 mil each. I, I want to skyrocket my bank value. So I'm going to go to the bank and put these in and see what my bank value is at. All right, deposit all and 1.23 bill. I am a trillionaire on RuneScape. Can any bank noters say that? I, feel, I believe only fire sales can become trillionaires. I believe this makes me the richest player in RuneScape. I have 1.2 trill. Is it real gold? Yes, it's in the game. Is it getting deleted in two months? Yes, but so did the last trillionaire's gold, so does it really matter? All right, let me just take one last hit of fire sale copium. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire sale's the best. All right, let's get on with the build. I went ahead and just unlocked my tier six relic. I was really close, so it only took a couple of tasks, but we're gonna go with the ruinous powers because we don't have candor for piety. So we can use Decimate, which is just better piety anyway. I think we need gear upgrades so that we can start raiding as soon as possible on this account. I don't think I need tier 8 to raid. I should be fine with just tier 7. Oh, a bez okay. I thought this was going to take a while, but three kills in, I have Berserker Ring. That's going to be our best ring. <gasps> yes, Leaf Bladed Battle Axe. This thing is actually so good. It's better than a whip because it's 5 tick. Look at the stats on this thing. 72 we have 115 strength. This thing will out DPS a even a whip. And I think maybe even like a like tentacle whip. I don't know. This is going to be my weapon until I get like a rapier from Theater of Blood. Quick melee fire cape. And I can buy obsidian armor. And then we're going to be looking like a chad. Holy, look at this guy. I think I'm almost ready to raid. I've just been running around doing a ton of tasks. And it's time to unlock a new area. To get the door, we have to go to Karen. So seems like an easy unlock. I think I'm just going to go get tier 7 before I start raiding though. Tier 7 unlocked, and I think I'm just going to choose Soul Sealer again. I have a very specific plan in mind for next video, but I need this relic to do. And plus, I think it's just a really underrated relic. I think Berserk is only good if you have like the mage where you can get like 3 max hits in. But now that we have tier 7 and Soul Sealer, we can probably start raiding and get some gear upgrades. Raid number 10. Oh, it's a my first purple. 10 raids, I've seen like... Six people get purples. It's never been mine. Oh, a Sang Staff. That's actually really nice. <laughs> My best mage weapon was just casting, like, Fire Wave. So this is a pretty big upgrade. Oh, it's my purple again. Oh, let's go. The purples here are so common. Kill count 16. And we got a Sang. Well, I got the only thing I, that's on the Justicer table, too. The only thing I want now is Justicer and a Scythe. And the saying is the same rarity as just a I don't know how to say it. Just Justy. I'm just going to say Justy, okay? Oh, three raids later. The luck is pouring in. Another purple. Show me some Justy. Uh, uh, I can't even equip this. This is useless. Yes. Finally, it's been a while. Let's open the chest. Please give me some just Ah, uh, That's so sad. <laughs> That's my third one. All right, I got mad and came to chambers where you get purples basically every single raid. And I got a dex. I have ruinous prayers, so this is pretty useless. Show me a door. Oh, shit. I got, I got a twisted bow. Whoa. Okay, this is going to be actually really useful for doing more chambers. So that's cool. What the hell? I've never gotten a twisted bow on this game before. That's really good. I had to go get 85 range just to use this. But boom, Twisted Bow, it's 400 points. And it'll be a nice little chunk to tier 8. And we can just buy a ton of rune arrows, so I won't ever run out. Fire Cell Gang on top yet again. 
But this should be very, very helpful for getting my door. This is so good at chambers. I ended up getting a dex three times in a row and got mad, so I went back to the Theater of Blood. Hey, we did the duo. It's kind of easy in leagues, but <laughs> still cool. Do we get rewarded? Oh, we got a task as well. Yes, a purple for me. I'm definitely not the MVP, but this is deserved. Show me a justice justy chest plate. Ooh, I will take that. A rapier. That is my new best stab weapon. That is going to be really good for like Borkath, which I will do for a ton of points. Which honestly, I might go do now. I kind of want to go get tier 8. This thing is really good. 113 stab. It is a little bit less strength, but it should be good for getting points. There are a ton of points at Borkath. 15 times without leaving is 200 points. I just left all the stuff on the ground. Look, look at how much loot there is. I can just scroll through it. There's about 10 kills of loot in Vorkath right there. Doing this combat task for some reason is just 200 points as well. So I am down. That's 400 points so far. To do this task, I had to take my weapon off so I wouldn't kill him. Because I'm actually killing him too fast. It's actually such fast kills at Vorkath with this rapier. Uh, but I gotta do all the combat achievements for another 200. Oh, that's a big hit. Please, die, 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 die. Yes. Okay, what a weird way to do that combat achievement, but I don't have any other better way. I had to crossbow throwing axe that thing, and it took like 20 attempts. All right, 100 Vorkath kills, which is 200 points for all the achievements. I am about to hit the fattest combo breaker of all time with all these Vorkath loot, and I can almost get a ton of points from getting a more combat achievements, which I'll probably do as well. All right, check out this crazy combo breaker. We can stuff the Vorkath head for 40 points. Huh? I, that's supposed to be a task. All right, moving on. Uh, my combo breaker is a little bit less now. We got Wrath Runes from Vorkath, so we can cast a Surge spell for 80. We got Dragon Dart Tips, so we can get another 200. What the hell? Why do I have to have the desert? I can flash, I can fletch Dragon Darts just fine. I can get them from other places. I got scammed 240 points. Well, anyway, we can also equip this Dragon Plate Leg for 80 points. And if we get Ava's Device and Ava's Assembler, I think that's another 80 points. Well, I got 240 points, but that should have been like 500. The Fremenic region is so good for points. 300 combat achievement points is an elite task. I'm doing all the Dagonoth Kings tasks. Each of the uniques is like 80 points as well. So each one is like 160 points. All right, there they go. They both died on the same tick. And I got a Warrior Ring. And I got 400 points for the hard combat achievements. Hoppling the Diarchy as well, as well as the Dagonoth Rex Supreme Adept. 25 KC there. I just got so much stuff. I got 400 points from the hard tier. I got two tasks. I got 100 collection log slots. I got a warrior ring. I just got 500 points. Jesus. All right, 200 points for doing every single Dagonoth King combat achievement. I just need a Seer's ring, and then I basically just completed this place. Oh, there we go. 91 kills. We were bound to go dry in one. If I equip this, I think I should get 280 points. Yep. Hard and an elite task. Oh my gosh, we're almost at tier 8. I swear to god I just got like almost 2,000 points from just the Dagonoth Kings. That also got me 95 Slayers so I can just go kill a Hydra for 80. And we can do one more task for tier 8. And here we go, Harvest a Snapdragon. We are now tier 8 gamers. I've gotten tier 8 on two different accounts. And I think I'm going to choose a different one this time. Last time I took the Axe. And the Guardian looks quite boring to me to be honest. So I think I want to go Undying Retribution. This one looks like a lot of fun. Plus, I don't have banknotes, so I die a lot. So we're going to choose it. It should help me save a lot of supplies at raids, as well as do a ton of damage. I've decided I'm just going to do chambers until I have the door. There's an ancestral robe top. Nice upgrade over the mystic robe top, but not that crazy. I'm going to stay here until I have the door. I should be able to not use many brews because of undying retribution. It's super nice. Oh, a purple. What is it? A Kodai. I have I have the ranged and mage mega rare, but I don't have the melee one. Which one I would I'd, I'd really like protect on the elder mall would be so nice. Ancestral hat. That's another roll on the din's table. An ancestral hat. Oh, a dragon hunter. Something new. I've stopped. <laughs> I just stopped clipping anytime I get a dex because it's so common. Who needs infinite food from banknote when you can just die and get 99 HP instantly? Banknoters are in shambles right now. On the real though, this is actually going to save me so many brews and let me stay here for way longer. Oh, I got it. I got it. Door. Door. 
I got the door. Oh my god, it's done. How many purples did I get? Jesus. Oh, let's go, door. Here's the collection log, but look at this insane streak of purples. I think there were some before this ancestral top. I, I, I don't think I'll be able to go find them. But I think this is like, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight purples in a row. That's what raiding on challenge mode Chambers of Xerix is like on leagues. You just get a purple every raid. It's great. Currently, our Dins is not very strong because we have Obsidian. Our Rapier can hit not 98 our rapier can hit a 49 and the dins can only hit a 44 but that's it with adamant armor if we just go get some barrows armor i'm pretty sure this thing will be stronger than the rapier all right there is a tank body a tank helmet and oh my god finally tank legs and our max is a 56 jesus christ that is a lot higher <laughs> and i don't even have justicer yet i should be able to hit in the 60s i'd bet with justicer not only can I hit way higher than my rapier, I also just have insane <laughs> defense bonuses. I have 400 and everything, 450 range defense. And that's before Justicure. Just to... Every time I say Justicure, I feel like I'm saying Worcestershire. Am I saying it wrong? Somebody please tell me. All right, let's go test just how good the Din's Bulwark really is. I have a Slayer task of Necreals, which is perfect because it is a giant AoE thing. I'm going to put on my Slayer helmet instead of the tank helmet. And oh my god, a 59. I can hit 60s. That wasn't even a max hit splat. I can hit 60s on task at 2 tick speed. The spec is super nice too. I can just get everything on me. Boom! 121 with the spec. You saw that. Oh my god, the door is real. Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to try to do a Din's double spec with Undying Retribution and just nuke everything around me. All right, here we go. Take off the melee prey. Get the spec ready. They just have to hit me, which... I'm now realizing it might be an issue because I'm so tanky. Any day now. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Pop. Boom. Oh my god. Everything died. Everything died with those two in one spec. That is so satisfying. Oh my goodness. The DPS that I am capable of with this door is absolutely wild. Look at the look at the XP an hour. This is what I'm doing. I'm just going to my house, getting my spec back. Then I just last recall, and I just double spec with the dins. It'll just kill most of the things in the room. Boom. Boom. All right. That one is a bad example. Normally, it kills some stuff. But I just go back, and I just keep specking over and over, and I'll just kill the whole room usually in two cycles. Boom. Boom. Oh, my gosh. This is so satisfying. I can just kill giant rooms of Slayer monsters. These things have 200 HP, by the way. They're not some, like, 100 HP fire giant. 205 HP. I think this is the most fun... Dude, that will never get old. Oh, my God. This is just the most fun league ever. Oh, the relics are so good. That is so satisfying. Oh, my... I'm just addicted. I need to go do something else. <laughs> I, uh, it's so cool. Double dins and the whole room dies with undying wretched. It's just too fun. All right, I got to go do something else. I could just do this all day. I got to try the door elsewhere. Oh, a Hydra task. Uh, the door surely will be good there. Oh my God, this is so fast. Is it even going to get to do the flames? No. <laughs> this is my first kill. I'm not even hitting crazy, but it's just very consistent like 30s. This isn't going to be an impressive kill time, but oh my God, even without an impressive kill time, I still just completely skipped the flames. All right, how fast was it? A 128, I think I can definitely do an under a minute kill, which is crazy for Hydra because half the room is just walking around the room not doing damage. Oh, a Hydra Leather. I think this will improve my strength bonus a lot so I can hit harder, but it has no defense, so I don't know if it's actually better. Anyways, 108, I'm chasing that sub minute kill. Okay, this is so fast. Oh my, this is it. This is the kill. 58, nice. It's phasing. If I die, I... I... Okay, I just got a six-hour log during my PB. <laughs> oh my god, that was so messed up. No, that was the kill. I've been here for like 30 minutes. That was the one. Oh, okay, this could be it. All he has to do is kill me, and I just can't get six-hour log. Please kill me, Hydra. 80, 141. That is under a minute. Has to be. Has to be under a minute. Come on. 
59 seconds. Let's go. Under a minute is crazy for this room. Half the room, you just don't do damage. All right, the next spot we're going is Soul Wars. If I can one-hit a group full of Slayer monsters, maybe I can one-hit a group full of players. I really hope. This, I am so excited for this. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go into the middle and just one-shot a giant clump of people. There's, they're all right there. Look at that. When I get unfrozen, those guys are all dying. All right, here we go. Ready? Here it comes. Oh, my God. Oh, that max 54. Holy damage. <laughs> they're, all, they're actually, they're actually <laughs> all dead. That whole clump of people are all dead. Oh, my God. They're all coming up the bridge. Boom. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> Holy shit. They all just died. Oh my god, the bo the door is so good at Soul Wars. That was sexy. I'm just envisioning, like, some low-level noob. And they're like, time for my first game of Soul Wars! <laughs> <laughs> they just see Pip running at them with a fucking door. <laughs> like this? 57? <laughs> that poor man, oh. dude. Those guys are dead. He probably has no idea what the fuck just happened. <laughs> and no one's on the bridge anymore. Wait, what can you hit? I can unironically one-shot people. But see, I just had a 97. <laughs> oh my god, this what is so broken. Fuck? Everybody is just dying. <laughs> this guy says, fuck, it's that Denny B. Run, it's the door. <laughs> Doing Soul Wars with the door was probably the most fun I've ever had on RuneScape. I felt like just a god running through and one-shotting whole groups of players. But it's time to move on and try one last thing in this video. I want to try to completely AFK a fight caves attempt. I want to see if I can just go into the fight caves and see if I can just not click at all and I'll just have the cape in 30 minutes. I just turned auto retaliate on, protect from mage on, and I have insane defenses in ranged and melee. So hopefully nothing will really hit me. And even if I do die, I have undying retribution. So I have to die two times within 30 minutes. So there's even if I get unlucky, I can still do it, I hope. So let's see how it goes. Okay, we've made it to wave 31 without a scratch. I'm worried about their major because it has a melee attack that can actually hit pretty hard if I get unlucky, but I should be able to tank most of them. And even if it does hit me, I'm hoping that I can just soul steal her back up and heal. Doesn't look like it's going to be a problem. I killed that kind of slow. I hit low numbers. I think that was just bad RNG. Please don't kill me before Jad. I'm 57 HP, but that shouldn't be a problem because I have Undying Retribution. All right, here comes Jad. Hopefully, I can hit him with my Undying Retribution. Let's see. Is this going to be close enough? Don't kill me. Okay, nice. Am I, oh, oh, it didn't hit him. That is kind of bullshit, not going to lie. All right, I have one life. Can I tank the Jad hits? Oh, my gosh. 99 HP. I don't think he can hit a 99, so I should at least be able to survive one hit. He's just hitting constant zeros. Can I out DPS the healers? Come on. 17. Please heal. Please heal. 38. Oh, no, that was a chance. He only chanced me once. Wow, I actually did it. <laughs> the door <laughs> prevails. Let's go. A fire cape. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I'm pretty sure I could do that 99% of the time, unless I got really bad RNG. Do I get the pet? No. Yeah, if I, did, if I get bad RNG, that well, I would die, but I would have to get really, really unlucky, I think. We're sacrificing the cape. Let's jump into the Inferno. This is a little preview of what's happening next video. I'm hoping I can just completely AFK the Inferno like I just did to the Fight Caves. So subscribe if you don't want to miss it.